the previous video we talked about my Rift tank and do I buy control app I use for it. If you haven't watched the first video, you can find the link in the description. Today we will be talking about the power outlets and controlling the lights. The relays are very basic but very important part of the system. I use this cheap Chinese relay board connected to the plugs. In total there are 4 of them, each with 8 relays. They can be turned on and off as needed within the app, either manually or using timers and rules. I built this about 2 years ago and now I would probably go with some other smart plugs but these relays do the job alright for now. I use these relays for all kinds of devices. T5 lights, return pumps, wave makers, ATO pumps, RO solenoids, heaters, fans, UV light, refugium and anything else I need. For lighting, except T5s controlled by relays, I use Kessel A360 Tuna Blue. It requires 0 to 10 volts inputs to control the light color temperature and power. Two Raspberry Pi GPIO outputs are connected to some cheap 0 to 10 volts boards. Links to the product is in the description. The other LED light I use is AI Prime 16HD. For now, this light is not connected to my app at all. The last light used are these small white LEDs to imitate moonlight. I have no idea if it is helpful to corals at all, but it is nice to have something lighting up the tank during the night. The power of the LEDs is calculated according to actual moon phase in my location. Also, the light fades in and out an hour after sunset and before sunrise. This probably does absolutely nothing at all, but at least I can see actual moon phase just by looking at my fish tank in the dark. That's all for today. In next video we will be talking about auto top off. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get the notification when I upload.